Hi. Now on your screens technology of the 21st century combat strike drone of the Turkish Armed Forces Tai Anka S and concurrently the nightmare of the Army of Syria, Iran, Hezbollah and Russia. During the days when these drones were constantly in the sky over Idlib, the drones were first able to stop the offensive of the Assad coalition and later began actively supporting the counteroffensive. And this offensive is already developing quite successfully on the southern front. These UAVs even destroy the Panzer S-1 anti-aircraft missile systems, which we have already described in the video on our channel. The continuation of this video can be found on the internet, but today we will talk about the drone. And if you are interested in this topic, then support our channel with your likes. Many people think that Turkey is some kind of backward country. But in fact this is in addition to the fact that the second largest army in NATO is also a country that understands how important the most modern and relevant technologies are. To understand the analogues of the strike drone Tai Anka S in the armies of many countries still do not exist. You can search for information or not, there is nothing that could strike the enemy in unmanned mode. Speaking of technology, we see that this is not an outstanding engine power. Only 155 horsepower, diesel engine. We are interested in something else. This UAV can be in the air for up to 24 hours it's just amazing. This is a good characteristic. The Tai Anka S has a low flight speed, but a good altitude of up to 9 kilometers. And together with the duration of the flight, this gives good characteristics. For example, the takeoff and landing of this drone are performed automatically. Next, the drone operator sitting in front of the control computer screen destroys enemy targets on the ground. It was meant to be. How did you come up with this idea? Probably easy. Initially, the drone was developed as a reconnaissance tool. Therefore, it was equipped with a set of equipment that allows you to find the enemy day and night and in almost any weather conditions. Later it became clear that the UAV is capable of carrying 200 to 250 kilograms of payload. What immediately occurred to the military? Of course, all this is combined. Combine the drone's ability to detect enemy targets. This drone can accompany several targets at the same time, with the defeat of those same targets on their own. But, in order to hit the enemy, you need ammunition. And then the Turkish military went very unconventional way. They made adjustable ammunition MAM-L which you can now see on your screens. Turkish military UMTAS missiles had this missile similar to the Hellfire or Maverick. This missile could be used from helicopters from ships from ground-based launchers. But what the Turkish military did, this rocket had a fairly large weight more than 60 kilograms is not quite suitable for the drone needs something lighter, but with about the same capabilities. The Turkish military remembered that the drone can take off at a high altitude so this rocket does not need an engine. And the military removed the rocket engine, leaving only the warhead, and left the ability to correct the flight. And accordingly we received such a multi-functional correct bomb with a high explosive cumulative or thermobaric warhead that can hit the enemy with good accuracy using laser guidance. This means that the drone takes off, gains altitude, highlights the target with a laser and drops a bomb on top of it. The chances to survive are about zero, as you can see now on your screen. Opportunities for defeat are also excellent, 160 mm of penetration from the top will not make anyone thinks that it is weak. The weight of this bomb is 22 kilograms instead of 60, and the range in ideal conditions is up to 8 kilometers. Don't forget that this bomb doesn't have any engine. By the way, the Turkish military likes to write and draw different inscriptions on their corrected bombs. The most interesting thing is that the drone operator sits and lets these wonderful bombs go in front of the computer, and as we see the results, there are dozens of destroyed tanks, artillery systems, convoys, and so on. Now the enemy military is simply afraid to leave their homes, the offensive is almost impossible for them, that is, psychologically, these drones have achieved some simply incredible capabilities. Because after consuming the ammunition and the drones still can just to illuminate targets for artillery. But there is a second option of weapons. You can see these containers with several missiles. This is a 2.5 inch Cyril rocket or 70 mm caliber. So that you understand this something like unguided Hydra missiles or S-8 only in the controlled version. By the way, the US military made guided Hydra for its helicopters. Well, there's something like these missiles. We are not saying that these are American missiles, but they are similar. 
Caliber 70 mm, the warhead up to 3 kg, can also be either cumulative fragmentation as in the Russian S-8, high explosive and thermobaric, but most likely used for most tasks as cumulative fragmentation. Such missiles can be installed not two missiles as the previous type of ammunition, but up to eight missiles. These missiles can also be used as from helicopters so from air targets here now we see from a low speed plane. And, accordingly, they can be used from these drones. The accuracy is also good and the range is also up to 8 kilometers. That is, in general, these drones can operate their ammunition without entering the zone of portable air defense systems, which makes them very dangerous to the enemy's ground forces. Or you already need to issue it some more serious threats to the enemy forces. Plus, you need to understand that these drones are quite cheap and are produced in dozens. Of course, they bear some losses. But it is still necessary to understand that until they are taken seriously for their counteraction these UAVs will act with almost impunity and even losses in several UAVs are not terrible. Here are the characteristics of this 70mm caliber rocket, the capabilities are quite wide. Sometimes these drones are destroyed and shot down, but compared to the damage that they cause, this is a minor loss. Write your opinion in the comments what you think about drones and the prospects for their development. Thank you for watching these videos to the end. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. To avoid missing new videos about the history of weapons. See you soon.